Hello, do you have thin strips of cardstock? Want a fun way to use them? Join me in the studio and I'll show you how. I love using my catalog as for inspiration. So sometimes if I'm stuck, I'll just start looking through the catalog. <coughs> Excuse me. And one of the cards that caught my eye was this one. And I'm thinking, what a great way to use pattern or strips of cardstock that you have left over. So I'm going to recreate this card using my using different supplies. All right. So the first thing I need is a card base. And I am choosing to use white. And you'll find out why in a minute. All right. Then I need, this is the perfectly penciled pattern paper behind here. I wanted to do something a little different, so I am going to use some of the Pretty Prints paper on mine. Now they've used black because there's black there. I chose to use some strips of Pretty Print, of Pretty Print, <laughs> some strips of Starry Sky because that's the color that's in there. And then I took my sentiment from Nature's Prints, and I'm actually using Hello There. And then to cut out my sentiment after I stamp it, I'm using the Nature's Prints dies, and it has this one in here, and I thought that would be really nice there. So that's where I got my basic pieces from. Now, I had to emboss this. They have used this exact boss embossing folder on here. This goes with the Pretty Prints um, paper and sweet, so I'm gonna use that. Let's get started. All right, I'm gonna put this up out of the way. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to emboss my background. Now, what you have to do is you have to put this in um, and you can do this as a separate panel. I am not. And I am going to, oops, I've got the wrong, wrong one up. Let's see. It's got to be this way on my card base. So I'm going to hold it up because I want to be able to use this line at the bottom to get a straight edge when I emboss. So I'm lining up the bottom of my card base with that line, all right? And then I'm gonna close my embossing folder. Now, you can take and fold this to the back, but that pulls everything and messes it up. Technically, it's supposed to go in with the um, folded end first so that all the pressure can be released this way. You can fold it this way but you don't wanna do it very often because it will put pressure here and crack it. I'm going to do it this way. Okay, I realized that I was still um, zoomed in, so I did zoom it out, so hopefully this is a little better. But there I have my background already embossed. So I'm gonna take and I'm gonna fold it and use my bone folder, but I'm gonna fold it this way first, get it even. Um, and then I'm gonna flip it over. And the reason I'm flipping it over is if you do it this way, you're gonna mash this edge on your card base, and I don't wanna do that. By flipping it over, it mashes this side, which is just a little bit of it, so it doesn't matter. So there's that. All right, the next thing I need is I need to attach my piece like this. And I'm thinking this needs to be cut down a little bit more, so let me do that. Oh, much better, much better. All my measurements are on my blog. The link is in the information section below. All right, so this has to go on. This is embossed, so when I emboss, I always use my double-sided tape because it will grab that background well um, and hold on to it, even if there's no paper there, so to speak. Um, when you emboss something, you get hills and plateaus, or I should say valleys and plateaus. And when that happens, 
your valleys don't have any way to hold on to anything. So by using the tear of the double-sided tape, um, we call ours tear and tape, um, it grabs it all the way across and you don't have to worry about it. Now I'm gonna pull out my pokey tool and I'm gonna take this back off and put this on my card. Now this paper does not have a direction. It is printed all over. So when I choose a paper like this, I take and I look at it, I wanna make sure it's opening the right way. I look at it and say, okay, do I want it this way? Or do I want it this way? And I see these two, my eye is drawn here. When I did it this way, I was still looking at these. This is okay, um, but now that I've cut it down, I'm wondering if I shouldn't do it that way because of this. I'm gonna do it this way. But I always look at my paper and see, even though it says, it goes in any direction. To me, there's a direction. Now, I cut my strips long. So what I'm gonna take and do is, I'm gonna pull back the book. If we look in the book, these are angled. So I have to angle the ends of mine. And I'm only gonna angle the top of each of them. I'm just gonna do it with my scissors. Um, because um, I don't know how long the bottom needs to be yet. So if I angle the top, I can get my bottom straight. So then I can angle it. So I'm cutting off my tips on all of them, all four of them. All right, now let me get rid of this. And now this one is gonna go here and cover up that edge. So I need to cut it. Where's my pencil? I'm gonna put a pencil mark there. All right, it's about there. So I'm gonna take this piece and where's my mark? There it is. I'm gonna cut that way. So it goes like that when I put it down to make sure oh and I, you know what I don't think I cut enough no I didn't I need to cut some more so let me let me take and do this to make sure that the sides are all the same I'm going to use this one as a guide and cut my ends All right, let me cut four more strips and I'll be back. Okay, I used a smaller piece because these are going up here and I didn't need that really long one. So what I'm gonna take and do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut these four the same way. All right, so I've got those four cut. Now I need to cut these. And this needs, to, let me cut the one side. All right, so I've got that. And I'm gonna go, you know what? I'm gonna leave these the length they are. And the reason being is if I cut them too short, you won't see it. Um, on the card. So let me cut these four. All right, I've got it all cut. Let me get rid of my scraps so they're not distracting. Now, you can't really see 
in the picture real well unless you really examine it. But these are woven. So this is the this is the bottom top. This is the top, you know, so they it's woven in there. So what you have to do is this one goes on here. And this one goes on here. And there's a little bit of space. All right. So I am not going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to put a little bit of um, tape on here. I don't know how much, I don't want a lot. You know what? I'm going to use my repositionable tape because then if it gets, I can move it if I need to. I'll just put a piece there. And then this goes even with this edge. And I'm centering it top and bottom as best I can. See, it's got to come down a little, like so. This one goes next to it. So again, using that repositionable tape, and I'm putting it in the middle. I'm going to add this one. And I am trying to get them as straight as I can and even as I can. So there's that. Now, these will move a little bit, but that's okay. This piece is a top, and it goes on. So it's going to go over and under that one. So I'm going to put some repositionable tape on here. I'm going to go over the one and under the other. And I'm putting it even with the top of that paper. All right, like so. Then I'm going to take another one. I want my, just be careful that your ends go the same way when you do this. All right, so I'm going to add this. This one goes under this one. This is why it's great if you have it repositionable because it goes over this one and under this one. So it might be easier there yeah it's easier to come from the outside in and then this is going to get pushed up like so and i'm leaving just a small space and i'm not too worried about if it's straight or not what i'm going to do when i'm all finished is i will move them around because they're not stuck down and i'll put glue on them to hold them in place now we want to do this side and this one is going to go on so add my repositionable tape this is when this tape is really good i'm going to go over and under and i'm going to move it up so it's even as best i can stick it down then Remember, make sure your angles are going in the right direction. I love this tape for that reason. Now, remember, this one's got to go the opposite way. So if you come over this one, and then you can go under that other one easy. And I'm just going to pull it down and stick it down. By using the repositionable tape, it allows me to move them around. All right, now, this one, all right, some repositionable tape, and I got to make sure that my ends are going the same way, all right? This one is the tricky one. It's going to go over, under, under, over, so it's opposite. It's just like weaving. And that's why it's great that these are not stuck down. All right, now, making sure my ends are going the right way. All right, there it is, so this is the back. All right, now, it's going to go over, under,
and over and under, I think. Yeah, that's right. All right, got it. If you can get the little tiny piece under, you're in good shape. I know you're all thinking, why would I ever do this? But it's so cute and it's so fun. Okay, now time to glue this down. So I'm gonna pull in my glue. The first one I'm gonna do is this one. And I'm gonna add a tiny bit of glue here. I'm gonna make sure this is straight and I'm gonna stick it down and hold it, but make sure this one is straight with the bottom also, because if it grabs it, then you've got a problem. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. I'm gonna add a little bit of glue. And I gotta look from the side to see. I think there's glue that came out. All right, and I'm gonna put that one like so, there's just a little bit of space between, all right? So we've got, oh, I got it on my fingers and now it's on there. I'll have to be using my, um, um, eraser. I don't know which, I can't remember. All right, now this is gonna be next. So I'm kind of figuring out where I need my, all right, this piece comes over some where my glue dots are. I'm gonna to try to do both at the same time. So I need one here and one here. It would make it so much easier. And just a little bit, okay. Now that I've got those glued in place, they're gonna stay. And I just, I hold it for a few seconds. If you need to hold, do something, put a block on it, and it'll stick. So because it doesn't want to give because it's it's being held in place by the other, which is what it's supposed to do. All right, so I've got that, and I'm going to put a block on there. I'm going to close up my glue, because if I don't, I will have a mess, and it won't close up. All right, I'm just going to slide this up out of the way, and I'm going to do my sentiment. So I have a scrap of white, and my Starry Sky ink, and I'm going to ink up my sentiment and stamp it. And then I'm gonna take my die and cut that out. But you know what? No, I can't. I was thinking it would be good if this was a little bit shorter. I might be able to, I'll have to, I'll have to think about it. I don't wanna do it on this one. So I'm gonna die cut this out. Okay, I played and I got it to work. What I did was I cut it out the regular way. And you'll see, this one is cut out the regular way. Then what I did was I took it and I moved it down some. And I have 
I save all of my plates when they break 